Uh, hello everybody, this is Faith Hunter and hope you are having a wonderful, wonderful Monday. Um, if you can hear me, can you do a quick little thumbs up? I'm going to back up a little bit because again, I have two cameras tonight. I am recording on Facebook Live and I am also recording on Instagram Live. As you know, it is a chakra week, which will end on Saturday with my chakra sequencing and chakra healing, basically, workshop that I have at my studio here in DC, Embrace Yoga DC. And I checked today, there are only two spots left. So definitely catch that. I am gonna switch things up a little bit tonight. So if you are watching this and you are not near your yoga mat or somewhere where you can actually move your body a little bit, don't worry, you know that this is gonna be live on Instagram for another 24 hours. And of course it will live on my Facebook page and I will post it to YouTube as well. So find somewhere where you can actually move your body. And of course, you can always come back and reference this if you don't get a chance to actually move your body with me tonight and then drop into a seated meditation. Don't worry, you can always press rewind, listen to it now and actually practice later. So tonight we have the second chakra, that is the sacral chakra, the swadhisthana. The color associated with that is the color orange, and the element is water. This is all about fluidity, allowing things to flow naturally. In those moments where we feel trapped, we feel stuck, Sometimes we need a little assistance and the assistance is plugging into your second chakra, right? This is right below your navel center. So last night we talked about the root chakra. For those of you that are new to chakras, that's right at the base of your spine. The second chakra is below your navel center, right around those sex organs, right? Governing the groins, the hips, right? In those moments when you're in yoga class and you do that hip opener, you like, Yes, that feels so good. Or in those moments when you do that hip opener and, or anything related to the hips and in that sacral area and you just so happen to like start crying, you're plugging into some places that you need to release and to let go around creativity, fluidity. It is also really, you know, when I speak about creativity, it's more than just being creative um, in the realm of like artistic creation. Because it is around our sex organs, of course, it is related to creating life, right? Co-creating in the realm of co-creating a new project, co-creating um, a new relationship that you desire. So that creation comes in many forms. If you have the desire to create something new right in your career so maybe you want to move into a new realm of your career or maybe you want to actually create a new position within your current job or your current situation it's related to that as well if you desire that you want to have more abundance right? If you want to bring and allow abundance to flow naturally into your life, plug into the second chakra. So that's what we're going to do. Again, I'm going to jump right into our practice. And then at the end, it's a very short practice because it's about just stimulating it really quickly, kind of activating it. After we finish our practice, then I will take questions. So hold on to your questions that you may have around tonight's practice or around anything. We'll jump right into our movement as then into our meditation. And before we actually go into any activity and movement tonight, I want to actually do a mantra to just kind of set the tone for this. Because the creative energy is something that we all desire in our life and oftentimes it's hard for us to plug into it so really want to call on the highest powers to drop into our experience tonight the mantra that we're going to use is ong 
Namo, Guru Dev Namo. So it's Ong, not O M like Om. It's Ong, Ong, Ong Namo, Guru Dev Namo. And this is about bowing down to that subtle divine, that, that highest place of divine wisdom, as well as honoring the highest guru, like the inner guru, the highest guru within. So let's call on that so we can um, drop into our highest place as we plug into our second chakra. Again, it's right around those sex organs, right around the groin, hip area. We're gonna find some sense of fluidity and creativity and stimulate it tonight. So go ahead and close your eyes. And let's actually place your hands right there below your navel center for a couple of deep breaths before we actually chant. And the beautiful part about chanting, right, is you just kind of breathe in and out and sit with me for a while. And just feel that energy moving right there around your second chakra. The beauty around chanting and around sound and as we stimulate all of the energy points in our mouth is that we actually vibrate and send energy right there into our frontal lobe, which is our wisdom, which is our creative mind, right, which is our intuition. So we're going to really drop into that tonight. Let's take a couple of more deep breaths before we chant. Relax the shoulders, sit up nice and tall, and bring all of your thoughts, your awareness, and your attention to the space below your navel center, your second chakra. Now slowly bring your palms together, allow your thumbs to rest right in the middle of your chest, feeling your powerful heartbeat. And we're gonna do it three times. Ong Namo, Guru Dev Namo. Here we go. Ong Namo, Guru Dev Namo. Ong Hold the breath, squeeze that space right there below the base of your spine, your perineum. Breathe in, hold it, hold it, hold the breath, hold the breath. And exhale, release. All right, so we're gonna do a little cat and cow. Now, cat and cow is um, something we constantly do. Like if you're in the vinyasa practice, you do it quite often, right? The teachers use it as a warm up, and there, there's a reason why. And then within the kundalini practice, there is also a reason why cat and cow is so essential. Now, it actually stimulates the synovial fluid in the spine, which uh, also starts to juice that energy up right there at the frontal lobe, right? That we stimulated with our chanting right now we're going to stimulate it with a little spinal movement and as you move through cat and cow tonight i also want you to think about what the pelvis is doing right and as you start to flex the spine right the hips are going to tip up you're going to round and curve and i want you to feel that stimulation right around the groin area, right there around the creases, um, crease between your, your pelvis, right, and the legs, so right around the groin crease, okay? So if you have sensitive knees, I want you to definitely grab a blanket or a towel, or um, I have Sebastian's favorite little throw here on tonight, so you can actually jump on something soft on your yoga mat, and you're gonna to come to your hands and knees. You're gonna come onto all fours. And then you're gonna put on a little chant here to go with it. All right, everybody. So we're gonna do this for a full three minutes. So again, come onto all fours. Passions in my way, this little butt there. 
And if you've never, actually, I'm going to actually talk through cat and cow because I don't want to assume that everyone knows how to do it. So the belly is going to drop, the pelvis is going to lift, the chest is going to lift a little bit. Just kind of gaze forward, try not to fling the neck back. And you're going to exhale around. All right, so again, inhale, exhale, just going to move in and out. If you're going to lose track of breath and the movement, don't worry, just keep breathing in and out. Yeah, everybody got that. And make sure your wrist and shoulders are aligned and your knees and hips are aligned. I'm gonna turn on my music a little bit louder. So again, we're stimulating, getting that synovial fluid moving in the spine, moving upward, and that's gonna bring that nice juicy energy right there to the frontal lobe and begin. So find that pace that's going to work for you. Again, we're doing it for three minutes. Keep the wrist and shoulders nice and alive. You're going to keep your knees right there over your hips. As you move in and out, again, I really want you to focus on your second chakra. That's our chakra for tonight. That's our primary focus for tonight. So just keep moving with me. <sighs> Breathe deep in and out through the nose. And if you want to pick up the pace a little bit if that feels nice. I want to do so. So we're about halfway there, everybody. Um, a short three minutes of your life. Almost there. What we're using this cat and cow to like charge up things. To stimulate and bring that synovial fluid up the spine. Bring that awakening right there to the frontal lobe. It's gonna make it so much easier for us to drop in to our meditation tonight. And again, find that pace that's gonna work for you. I'm actually gonna pick it up a little bit, like the last 45 seconds. Last 15 seconds, everybody. Now inhale. Hold the breath in. Hold the breath in. And then exhale. Round the back. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest. Hold the breath in. Exhale, round the back. One more, drop the belly, lift the heart up. Breathe in. Exhale, round, let it up. We're gonna come into a little child's pose, so the hips are gonna release towards your heels. Bring your palms together remove my glasses here and allow your third eye, the forehead, your frontal lobe to release. So we're kind of balancing out both sides of the brain. And all you have to do is just rest and be.
in and slowly begin to lift up. <sighs> All right. So now we're going to drop into our meditation. I'm going to grab my little meditation pillow here. And so if you want to sit on something, feel free to do so. You don't have to. It's up to you, right? Uh-oh, my meditation pillow is super high for <laughs> Facebook, so I'm going to do my meditation without it. All right. So um, make sure your shoulders and hips are nice and aligned. And we're going to do this for three minutes to sit. Um, and again, I just want to make this simple and short for people and easy and accessible. So feel free if you want to definitely sit in meditation for more than three minutes, you're totally welcome to do that. Like if you want to repeat this and do it again on your own, feel free. Or if you decide to do it without me and you kind of like remember what we did, feel free to do the meditation for longer than three minutes. The thing that we are going to add in tonight, we are going to do a mudra. And the mudra that we're going to use tonight is the yoni mudra. So again, we're talking about this, the second chakra. It's all about creativity and fluidity. And the yoni mudra is that like magnified variation of enhancing the energy within our body for the mother of creation, right? All things come from the mother. So regardless if you are a man or a woman or you identify in terms of your sexuality, sexuality is feminine or masculine, right? The Yoni Mudra is still appropriate, right? Because it is that divine, right? That divine feminine energy, that creative energy, that creative force that we're trying to stimulate within our lives. So the thumbs are gonna to come together. You're gonna to interlace the fingers and you're gonna extend the index fingers. And you're gonna cross your ankles and if crossing your ankles is uncomfortable, you can always sit in a position that's most comfortable for you. You're gonna allow the index fingers to lower down and the thumbs are going to point upward. Everybody got that? Yeah. So again, that's your Yoni Mudra. We are stimulating the second chakra. We're gonna sit in meditation for three minutes. And as you start to drop into your meditation, again, bringing all of your thoughts, awareness, and your attention to your second chakra. And if there is something or some aspect of your life that you desire to shift and change, if there is a place where you feel stuck or trapped in your life, allow that to be at the forefront of your thoughts as well, right? To be in your mind's eye. Allow your dedication for your meditation practice tonight to be around that or if you simply want to just create some overall sense of fluidity abundance prosperity in your life allow your thoughts to melt around that as well all right so we're in our yoni mudra the thumbs are going to point up roll the shoulders back and down and sit up nice and tall take a couple of more deep breaths in and out through your nose relax the shoulders and just kind of breathe for a few more moments in and out. Bring your focus, your attention, and your awareness right there to your second chakra, your Swadhisthana, your place of creativity, fluidity in your life, knowing that you desire to stimulate this area in a way that maybe will heal some aspect of your life, transform, shift, or even remove any obstacles and blockages in this area. The color again associated with it is the color orange. Relax the tongue and the mouth and continue to breathe.
Keep the shoulders relaxed, the breath steady and smooth. Allow all your focus and your attention to be directed to your second chakra. Pressing the index fingers and your thumbs together to activate your Yoni Mudra. Through the practice of breath awareness, stillness. focus and concentration, you have the ability to shift, change, and create what you desire in your life. Exhale out of the mouth. You can release your hands. Deep breath in. Exhale out of the mouth. One more deep breath in. And exhale out of the mouth. And when you're ready, slowly start to open your eyes. And um, yeah, I'm actually gonna come a little bit closer. So, and I'm gonna adjust my camera for YouTube. So, give me a moment here so that everything's on the same level since I'm gonna chat with you guys a little bit. Here we go. All right, so if you have questions, um, yeah, go for it. I'm just gonna scroll down to see if anyone had any questions here. Um, so delighted that so many people join me again tonight. Wow, lots of people. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Totally, totally appreciate it. Um, so yeah, just um, to do a quick little review, we were focusing on, I'm turning this down, we were focusing on the second chakra tonight. Um, and it was all about fluidity and creativity. We were focusing on the second chakra, the Swadhisthana. Color is orange, just doing a quick little review and I'm delighted that you guys join me tonight. And yay, thank you Tahasia, I'm so glad you enjoyed it. Yay, so good to see you online. Um, and just in case you guys know, Tahasia is one of our, our yoga teachers at our studio, so uh, yeah. Good to see her. Um, was waiting. Oh, someone said that they really and Kimberly said she's was, she was waiting for me to post. Yep. So I kind of like doing these late at night because it 
kind of helps people to kind of wind down because they are meditations and they're not super, super active. Um, tomorrow nights will be a little bit more fiery because we're going to do a really fiery pranayama, but then drop right into our meditation practice. So expect that tonight. Hi. Oh my God. It's so awesome. Hey, Jessica. I'm all my yoga teachers. <laughs> are on um, Instagram. So yay, thank you, thank you, thank you for um, checking me out tonight as well. So just, as, just so you guys know, the other thing that I decided to do is that there were so many questions last night and so many ideas are a request. And at the end of Chakra Week, I will put all of the links and everything that you guys asked for because some people were asking about some jewelry and they were asking what were some of the crystals and the stones that I was wearing last night um, specifically the labradorite and then I had um, another stone on last night so some people had questions about that and how to use it why to use it and so I will actually post all of that in my on a blog that's related to chakra week so I'm gonna save all of those up and post those but in terms of tonight this, of course, will be live on Instagram for another 24 hours. It will also live on Facebook. And then tonight I will post it on YouTube. The first chakra, just in case you missed it, the first chakra will actually go live on YouTube tonight. I'm going to release that. So if you guys don't have any questions for me specifically tonight, I feel like everybody's just like right in their second chakra, ready to do some co-creation and things are flowing smoothly and fluid, I am um, gonna get off and I'm gonna go hang out with my dog and have a great night. And so glad that, yes, thank you. What is it, uh, my glasses on tonight and like look down and my bifocals like kicked in. So thank you as well, Kimberly, um, Kimberly for uh, enjoying and joining me tonight. I'm so glad that you, um, found some value in the practice. So thank you again, everybody. And of course, if you are following me here on all the different platforms, tomorrow night we have the third chakra. This is about our power and our presence and showing up in our most fullest, most brilliant divine light. And we're gonna kick that in with some really awesome pranayama and a really fo focused and targeted meditation practice so join me tonight or join me tomorrow night sometime i'm probably going to do that one a little bit early so probably around between around six o'clock is probably when i'm going to do that one so i'll see you guys tomorrow night on instagram as well as facebook live and you know what to do have a wonderful spiritually fly night and spiritually fly tuesday yeah. peace out everybody ciao